Diamond Tier 1 is the highest rank currently available on Master Duel's competitive ladder. And with the right deck and a bit of skill, achieving that rank isn't all too difficult. But what if you didn't use the right deck? What if you played something absolutely awful? How far could you get? I'm Hardleg Joe, if you didn't know, and that is my curse. Each month I must take a different non-meta deck and see exactly how far I can push it up the Master Duel ladder. This month's deck is Ojamas, one of the most awkward archetypes ever printed. Not, not just in this game, but in any card game. Despite most of them being zero attack normal monsters that look like, well, this, they somehow have the ability to summon giant machine fusion monsters like ABC Dragon Buster and Arn Dragon Catapult Cannon. That is, assuming you can pull off a complicated combo that involves crashing your Ojamas into the opponent's monsters so that you can add 15 cards from your deck to your hand during the battle phase. No, I'm not joking. Ojamas are absolutely crazy. They aren't good or consistent, but when they pop off, oh boy do they pop off! Will that be enough to carry us to Diamond? No. No, absolutely not. I mean, have you seen these things? We'll be lucky to get out of gold. But that's not gonna stop me. I've caught the Oja Madness, and now you must come along with me! <laughs> so, I spent most of today off-camera trying my best to build Ojamas. And originally, I was going to try to do, like, a pure Ojama deck that, like, locked down and used Ojama Country to, like, switch the attack and defense. And, uh, after trying for, like, three hours, I could not make a consistent build. There are builds online that claim to be consistent, or at least consistent-ish, but a lot of them use dangers and stuff, and that's just, like, random draws through your hand. So instead, we're going to be starting with Ojama ABC, a big combo deck, uh, but we're going to make it a little silly. This is a 50 card version. It plays a whole package of the Armed Dragon Thunders. It plays Ojama Delta Hurricane, Ojama Emperor down here, um, and three Ojama Pajama. So this should hopefully be a more fun version and then, if we don't do very well, I'm going to slowly start stripping out some of the chaff and making this more like a pure combo deck that has has some stuff. And I should mention while we're here that this is actually a go second Ojama build. Uh, a lot of the combos rely on you crashing Ojama Blue into your opponent's monsters, which seems suicidal because it it kinda is. But uh, we're we're gonna try to get Dark Ruler no more. We've already got Lightning Storm, we've got Forbidden Droplets, so hopefully we can just shut everything down, crash a bunch of Ojamas, make a big board that tears apart the opponent's board, and then, and then from there we can win the game. The unfortunate thing about this is it's going to be very, very expensive, mostly because of these three Ojama match. Most of the other Ojama stuff is, I mean, it's already expensive because, like, the ABC stuff is in a different uh, pack than the Rescue Cat is in a different pack from, like, the, the Oja Magic is in a Prank Kids pack. But these two cards, Oja Match and P Ojama Pajama, the only way to obtain them is through the Legacy Packs, the Arby's Gift Cards. I never wanted to use these. I was hoping that if I saved them up, Eventually, Konami would get the get the picture that no one even was spending their time opening these, and they would give you something else to do. But, I don't want to spend a bunch of ultra rare points, so I'm going to open 970 legacy packs and hope that I can maybe pull an Ojama Pajama or a Oja Match. The chances are actually still pretty slim because you only get two cards per pack, and there are 3,971 cards in this set. I don't know the exact, um, the exact ratios or anything, but basically, here, let's get a little calculator, let's do some math. If I have 977, and I'm opening two, every pack has two cards, I will be getting 1,954 cards, which is about half the cards included in this 
if I don't get any duplicates. So the chances that I get any ultra rare, much less the exact ones that I want, the, uh, the Oja match or whatever, very low. But, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll get some Link Spiders. Maybe I'll get some other stuff that I might want to play at a later date. If I can get, like, a card destruction or a Blue Eyes, that might help for a future episode. So, strap yourselves in. You're going to be in for a long and bumpy ride. Oh, hey. Hey, Stealth Kragen. That's, that's the first actual good ultra rare that we got out of here. We might need that if we play sharks. Thanks, it only took us about, what was it? We've, we've done about a hundred so far? And it's taken about 15 minutes or so. We got another ultra rare. Um, acid golem. Mildly, mildly useful. <laughs> oh no, chat. A to Z dragon buster cannon. Uh, I, I don't think we're going to make this unless we pull the ABC or the, the XYZ dragon. I'm not sure if it's in here. I think it might be. If it is and we pull it, we'll play it. But I'm not crafting a, a, an XYZ just to play that shit. We got one! We got one Oja match! That has saved us like a lot of money. Not a ton of money. Who knows if we'll get another one, but we got at least one. Where, where are we at at this? We've pulled about 300 of them so far. If we get one every 300 packs, then uh, <laughs> then we'll have the play set. Oh boy, oh no. Oh no. I got VWXYZ. Oh, is that, is, Wait, no, was it ABC and XYZ? This doesn't count, right? I can't, no, it has to be XYZ exactly. Not that this doesn't count. I'm not doing it. You can't make me. Hey, we got a Blue Eyes. That'll be good if, if chat forces me to play Blue Eyes at some point. Armed Dragon Catapult Cannon. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. Uh. I'll, I'll have to look into it. We'll, we'll see. Maybe. I mean, I got it. We might as... Uh... <laughs> this is already going to be bad. Why? Oh, uh, I just wanted the Oja matches. Oh, hey, I could have used this last time. Ancient Pixie Dra- Oh, no. Oh, no! No, please! <laughs> All right, chat. One more pack. Our chances of getting another Oja match are astronomically low. Will we do it? Do we has what it takes? No! No, we get Legendary Knight Critias instead. Or can I? Oh, I can do the last seven. Sure. Sure, let's do the last seven. Why not? This, this won't. Nope. Nope, it's just a, it's just a damage juggler. I have three blue eyes now. So I can play, I can play blue eyes. We got, we got one Oja match. Out of, out of almost a thousand of those cards. And we'll have to generate the other ones unfortunate but just just to show real quick what what do we get useless i already had like a bunch of them that that would have been good last season but we didn't get it unity useless maybe maybe really maybe i already had one definitely not please ban konami uh probably not you got two remove brainwashing an arm dragon catapult cannon. We now have four of these. I guess we got the blue eyes we need if people want to see blue eyes and A to Z dragon buster. A, B, C, and X, Y, Z. Uh, I'll have to, I'll have to look into it and see what I could do. I'll have to make a whole nother list, but we might as well while we're here, right? Right?
after taking some time and looking over the polls and doing research on YouTube and testing this deck more than I ever wanted to, I have come up with this. I call it Oja Madness. Uh, it takes advantage of the fact that we opened XYZ Dragon Cannon and uh, VWXYZ and A to Z and Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon because it can actually make all of those cards. Uh, it's not super consistent, it's not super good, but if you wanted the jankiest, most ojama e Ojama deck, we're gonna start with it. And we're probably not gonna play it for very long, because, um, if, if, if you're watching this after it comes out, they added a new rank to the game after I started playing. When I made this deck, plat was as high as you could get, and now, it's up to diamond. So unlike most months, I don't just have to go through gold and plat, I have to go through three ranks to try to reach the top tier. So we're gonna be sprinting as much as we can, seeing if we can make it out of uh, plat and into diamond with with Ojamas. Uh, and it ain't, it ain't gonna be easy, but we'll try. We'll try because I'm committed to entertainment. That's why I wear the top hat. Anyway, we've gotta open a million billion packs to try to get all this. So let's jump into that, shall we? Uber Super Sloth with the $10 donation to help with the madness. Thank you, Uber Super Sloth. Whoa, hey! GenKill213 with 2,650 and then another 100 bits. What's that, 27 fifth? that's $27? Thank you very much, GenKill. I appreciate it. Big bits. Although I don't get those bits instantly. I have to wait until the end of the month when Twitch rolls them over. The, the, the direct donations are always better. But I don't look down on bits. Those are all... It's all money to me. And Vylon Epsilon. I have, I have every Vylon. And nothing else good. Okay. Fuck it. I'm not opening any more goddamn Vylon shit in an attempt to get a fucking ABC Dragon Buster. I'll just craft it myself, I guess. This is the second Appliancer Ultra Rare we've gotten. <laughs> they really want me to play Gimmick Puppets <laughs> and Appliancers. They're like, please, any bad deck but Ojamas. Another Melfi of the Forest. Zephrath. And Evo Force. All right, we got one on the right side of the pack. Is it Rescue Cat? No, it's a fourth Melfi of the Forest. Yeah, I got four of these. Thanks for being generous with the Ultra Rares, but not a single Rescue Cat. For just one dollar a day, you- Another Kalantosa. And another Joyous Melfi's. How absolutely joyous to get one. I haven't pulled a single thing I want. Not a single dang thing that I've wanted. Oh, this is this is this is gonna be expensive. I didn't have to, I didn't have to wail for the for the red dragon archfiends. Ah, uh, thanks, patrons. I appreciate it. Hard earned patron money going to what it needs to go to. You know what? I'm just gonna yeah, let's go. Seventy nine dollars. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! This is a fancy pack. They gave me like everything. There's Ojama Emperor presiding over it. There's Prank Kids Rocket Ride. There's Wind Pegasus Adagnister, shiny version. There's Malefic Truth Dragon. You're a little short. I played Malefic's last time. And Diamond Dustan. Well, at least I got some stuff I can break up, but, uh... Still haven't gotten a single Ojama that I actually want to play. What the hell is going on? This is like reverse streamer look. This is insanity. Oh, I'm going to go bankrupt on this game. Oh, good. Oh, good. We could, we could end it off with a green baboon, Defender of the Forest. 
I only got three of them in this pack and four of them overall when I didn't even need one of them. Where are the rescue cats, Konami? Someone needs to rescue them. They're clearly being held. You know, if you're watching this now on YouTube, tell your friends. Tell them I need as much help as I can get. Purchase failed. <laughs> what do you mean, purchase failed? Don't tell me I've had enough. I'll tell you when I've had enough. They're trying to stop me. <laughs> They're being like, uh, look, if you're gonna buy Ojamas with that, I can't in good consciousness help you. Steam is down for maintenance? Wait, what? How did Steam go down for- <laughs> There's no response from the server. <laughs> They're trying to con <laughs> conspire against me. There are no products to purchase, chat! They're not letting me buy anymore! They have taken them off the market because I have too much! I guess you could stop donating! They, they won't allow me to buy anymore! <laughs> what is happening to this world? Let me look at the important notes. Paid gems can only be used on Master Duel. <laughs> Good to know. Well... They literally, this is censorship and I won't stand for it. Capitalism finally collapsed, live on stream. Isn't that dandy? So because Steam is down or something and has been down for almost an hour now, um, I cannot buy more gems to try to complete the deck. So you know what? Fuck it. We're in gold. Let's just go in with the incomplete deck that's missing key components. And, uh, we'll just, we'll just try our best. We'll see how it works. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. I don't know. But, uh, you know, it's Ojamas. Who cares? No one. No one cares. <laughs> so, here's the thing. This is a go second Ojama deck. Um, it relies on us crashing Ojama Blue into our opponent's monsters. So, in order to compete... They need to have a monster in attack position on the field that has less than, I believe, 2200 attack. Um, we have Lightning Storm to get rid of the back row, or potentially to get rid of all their monsters and then let them try again next turn. So we have a chance. This is a kind of hand you want to open up with. We have, a, we have two Ojama Blues and a Lightning Storm. So we can do this. It, uh, it just won't be easy. We've got two Garnets in our hand. There are like 12 Garnets in this deck. And we're playing against zombies, which means we could very well find ourselves going up against, um... What's it called? The fucking, um... Baller Drock? In which case, I don't know what we're gonna do. But if they just end on Unizombie Pass with like a set card, then we're, we're good. Then we can do it. Now I will let you know, a chat already kind of knows this because I played this in solo mode. This deck is the combo combo deck since combos came to Combo Town and set up a big fucking combo. Um, I do not think that we will get a chance to even complete it uh, until we get into like Plat, maybe even Diamond. I don't know. I assume that once people see that we have like 8 plus cards in our hand and that we're going to be making a big thing, uh, they will probably just surrender. But there's there's only one way to find out. It's just gonna involve a lot of skipping ahead. <laughs> Good luck, Civet. Oh hey, they made Beals. I think Beals will work. We can get two crashes and that's all we really need. Oh boy, another brick. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna start lightning storming their back row. Just get rid of all the spell traps and everything they need. Super poly, take that. Uh, and then the most deadly, deadly opening play in our playbook. Normal summon Ojama Blue. Let's go into the battle phase. Now Ojama Blue is our searcher. When it's destroyed by battle, I can search two Ojama cards. 
That's twice as many as most, and all it cost me is 3,000 life points. So what we're going to do is we're going to get... Oja Magic and Oja Match. Oja Match says, send one Ojama card from your field, her hand, of the, hand or field to the graveyard. So we're going to send Oja Magic. And then add an Ojama to our hand. And a... Yeah, we're going to add an Ojama and an Armed Dragon. You get both of them. And then you can normal summon one of those monsters. So we're going to normal summon Ojama Red. Oja Magic is going to activate. Ojama Red is going to activate. Ojama Red, when normal summoned, lets you summon up to four Ojamas from your hand. In this case, we're just getting Ojama Blue. If we if they had a lower attack monster, we would get more stuff. Oja Magic, when discarded, gets you one each of the three Ojamas. Uh, so then we're going to attack in with Ojama Blue again. If possible, we would like to do this a third time, but we don't have the life points. So we're just going to do that. And then... We're going to add... We're just adding two, two of these. And then we're going to go into main phase two. This is where all the magic happens. Ojama Simulation says... Reveal a um, light fusion monster from your deck, extra deck, or in this case, ABC Dragon Buster. Then we can banish Ojamas from our hand, field, or graveyard. Let's go three. I'm going to do the two in our graveyard and one in our hand. And then summon the pieces from our hand, deck, or graveyard. So we can banish three Ojamas from anywhere and summon A, B, and C. From there, we can use all four of these to make Appalooza Goddess of the Bow. So if they haven't hand trapped us yet, they're not going to be able to. And we want to activate this. A and B. Basically, we're just getting stuff from our deck to our hand, both as a way of deck thinning, and because all the cards we have remaining will be, um, cards that we can discard to use for stuff. I just took B out of my graveyard, so I can't summon ABC Dragon Buster. I got too excited. Okay, we can banish three, draw one. Perfect. By which I mean awful. Okay, it's fine. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make Ojama Simulation again. This time we're going to pick um, XYZ. Uh, we're going to banish this and this and the last Ojama out of our hand. And we're going to just summon the XYZ pieces. Then we're going to use these XYZ pieces we're going to make Nightmare Unicorn. We're going to use this, because this will allow us to discard B. Back to the graveyard, to shuffle this back. And then... Oh yeah, let's go ahead and shuffle. Let's draw another card, why not? I keep thinking I have to go to the graveyard to do it, but I don't. Oh boy, Fusion Tag. And then we can summon ABC Dragon Buster. Wait, does Fusion Tag actually do what I want to do? Fusion Tag. Should target a monster. Let's target the Nightmare Unicorn. And then reveal a monster in the extra deck. Its name becomes that monster. So that becomes XYZ. We now have ABC and XYZ. But it didn't work. Maybe Fusion Tag doesn't work on a Master Duel when I was a fool to try. Either way, we're good. We're fine. We don't We don't need... It has to be original names, chat is telling me. But it's fine. We've got four negates, and we can quick effect banish with ABC Dragon Buster. I can't believe they actually sat through all of that. I assumed after the Appalooza they would just stop.
Yeah, so actually fusion tag is a bad idea. I thought that was the point of making it. But this requires VWXYZ and Armed Dragon and needs them both to be on the field. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to... Oh wait, they have to activate the effect. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not banishing that. Go ahead, tribute it. What are you targeting, buddy? Wait, what did, what did they target? I missed it. Unizombie? Yeah, I'll let that go out. And then once it summons, I'll banish the Unizombie. ABC, if you don't know, is a quick effect. Just discard a card. Destroy some shit. So let's get rid of the VW. And banish that. Get out of here. And there you go, chat! That's how you win with Ojamas! Just 115 easy-to-remember steps that you only mess up a little bit. Oh boy, this is gonna be a long episode. But at least at least we got a we got a victory. We got one. They can't take that so they can't take that as, that away from us, chat. We got one. We have Ojama Blue. And we have both Lightning Storm and Dark Ruler No More, but they just set a card. I guess we set a card, and we'll wait till next turn. They need an attack position monster for us to do anything. Don't you fucking dare. How dare they? Already? I just started, and I'm going up against another fucking Ojama deck? Oh, the mirror match already! And they've, they've actually got, they've actually got Ojama Country. Oh, and they've discarded Oja Magic. I can feel my soul leaving my body. Huh, continue your main phase? No. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. One deck that's not gonna put a monster in attack position. It's Ojamas. I'll give them that. Fortunately, if they don't OTK us somehow, which is not beyond the realm of reasonability, we might, we, we still got this. We've got Dark Ruler no more in Lightning Storm. Even if they make the big monsters, we could do the things. Oh, but if they, if they play, if they make ABC and fucking banish our Ojama Blue before we can activate it. <laughs> Why have you invaded my dreams? They're everywhere I turn. I'm Ojamas. My opponents are Ojamas. Look in the mirror. What do you see? It's an Ojama staring back at you. Reva- they didn't even set Ojama blue, they set yellow. Link Spider, we got it. They're special summoning another one. They're gonna have 3,000 points of damage on board. The Nefarious Arch Fiends. Discard that, what did they discard? Ojama Duo, which they can banish in order to summon two Ojamas with different names from the deck. Union Carrier. Attach blue? They're just going in. All right, chat. Time for the big reveal. You've just activated my trap card. I'm getting Oja Match and Oja Magic. Oh, I already had Oja Magic. Fuck. I'm an idiot. I should have paid attention. I was distracted by the fact that Ojamas exist. So let's activate the lightning storm. Destroy all spell traps, yes. Ojama Pink! They summoned the pink one. I don't even play this one. They get to block off one of my zones. That might actually hurt me. Activate this. We're going to send Oja Magic. We're going to add blue and one of these. 
Normal summon? Yeah. Add three. Go to the battle phase. Attack! Activate! Add Oja Match and one of these, right? Yeah. Activate Oja Match. We're going to send one of these. To add uh, Ojama Blue and another Arm Dragon. Normal summon one? Yes. Attack. Take another thousand. Totally normal hand size. The third Oja match and Ojama Pajama. Oh wait, I need, ah oh, fuck. It's fine. It's fine, I've got enough cards. Um, we don't need the Oja magic, so we'll discard that. Add red to hand, add this to hand. <laughs> normal summon? Yep, and Oja Match can't or Oja Magic can't even activate because I don't have enough Ojamas in the deck. Let's get green. Gang's all here, chat. There are no cards that can be added. Main phase two. Now my turn really begins. Normal summon this. Go ahead and discard one of these. Summon the level five. We'll draw a card. Another lightning storm. Uh, let's summon the level seven. And because I messed up, we actually need to get the Saryuya. Fortunately, we have a lot of stuff to shuffle back. And we didn't get it. Fuck. Shuffle back that, shuffle back that, shuffle back that. Uh, yeah, we need to go for ABC. Let's banish this. Oh, we gotta do them all one at a time. I'm surprised my opponent hasn't surrendered yet. Yeah, it's weird how some of them are like, you've gotta collect, you, you can click all three at once, and some of them you gotta do each of them individually and confirm each time. Okay, from here I'm going to make Appalooza. There we go. Big bear. And this is the one that I want to activate because it gets me a card. So just B. Not A or C. Let's get the W wing catapult. Then we can make A, B, C. Uh, let's go ahead and activate this. And we're going to banish the, um, the blue so they can't do the same thing to us. And then let's go ahead and shuffle some stuff back, shall we? Maybe we'll draw into another Oja thing. Nope, we just got V and W. I mean, you'd make a VW Tiger Catapult. Set a card, end of my turn. So there you go, chat. Again, just 150. How long has this duel been going on? And how many do they have? They have B, C. If, they, if we see an A, we have to immediately, like, banish it to keep them off of the A, B, C. Oh, wait, I can just negate that. Just not even allow them to get uh, A on the field. Double Bite Dragon. Can't be destroyed by battle or card effects except with Link Monsters, but I have two of those on the field and more in the extra deck. A, more like... Get out of here. Get, 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 more like B for banished. It really is the full mirror match. They're playing the XYZs as well. IP Mascarena, oh no. 
Draw one card and discard one card. Yeah, I'm gonna negate that. I don't want to risk them drawing into, like, one of the pieces that they can discard and then summon another thing. Plus, I don't have anything in my hand that I want to discard. We're good from this point. Because I can summon back the four pieces, and then normal summon Tiger Jet, and then make Underworld Goddess of Chaos. Okay, so we can activate Ojama Pajama. Use the effect. Add the other thing that we messed up last time. IP Mascarena? How about no? What if you got banished before you could? Have you considered that? Now, if this is Solemn Strike... <laughs> Raigeki break! Uh, Alright. An interesting tech card. I don't think that does what you want it to do. Um, I mean, it's dead. So there's that. Because I can't tag out during my turn. But I get to add Ojama Simulation. And then I can get rid of probably the lightning storm. Ojama oh, simulation. Yeah, let's just do X Y Z. All three blues. Uh, let's go ahead and draw a card. See if we get anything cool. It would help if I had a third Ojama oh, simulation. Oja magic. This is probably the best because it gives me an actual negate. This can't even destroy it. Doesn't have a whole lot of attack. Oh, it has to be effect monsters. Um, I can summon the Link Spider. Let's go with Link Spider first. Hello there. It's me. Use that as two materials? Yes. Bada bing. Big goddess. Let's go. It's not game, but we're getting close. Now, if they hit me with Lava Golem and the normal summon Ojama Blue, I'm gonna be very sad. Oh, wait, they can't because Ojama or Lava Golem prevents you from normal summoning. The Ojama Mirror is what? YOU SON OF A BITCH! Oh, You had to do it to me, didn't you? You unstoppable! <laughs> Complete Neanderthal! Okay, show me the Oja match. You got the extra normal summon? Is that is that how this is gonna go down? Oja match to discard the Oja magic and then immediately get into the cycle and do it? No, it's just the end of the main phase. Good. Most good indeed. Now just don't have a battle fader. We'll be fucking fine. Can't believe I'm sitting here like, no, nah, there's no way it would be Lava Golem. You wouldn't play Lava Golem in this because you need to normal summon. But this guy, this guy doesn't know any better. Go in, Lava Golem. Don't make sure they don't have bad, bad. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, we won the mirror match, and it only took, it only took like 40 minutes, right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And everyone in the comments say nice things about the editor, Civit. He's doing his best. I mean, I have to suffer through this, but he has to watch me suffer through this, and I don't know if that's any better. Uh, <laughs> that's only the second duel. Oh, it's gonna be a long month. Oh, hey, it's loading finally. We could get some more. So all, all I had to do is prove that I could win with Ojamas and now they're letting me, now they're letting me purchase mo more, more things. What fresh hell is this? This card is added from your deck to your hand. You can reveal it in some, so they just drew that for turn. They still don't have a monster in attack mode for me to do anything with. So let's just get rid of all that back row, shall we? Just, just get it out of here. I don't want to have to deal with it. Oh! 
Well, at least maybe they'll summon something in attack mode. Waking the dragon along with skill drain and vanity's emptiness. Only the height of the best plays. Trishula. You don't even get the effect because it wasn't summoned properly. It has to be synchro summoned. Um, Alright, I, I can afford to attack into that twice. Let's go. Summon all the Ojamas. The gang's all here, chat. And then we're going to... Make Appalooza to defend our plays from everything else. Hadn't normal summoned yet. Discard level 3 to summon level 5. Ojama Simulation. Let's go for the XYZ. Summon all three of these. And then we're going to make XYZ Dragon Cannon. Activate Ojama Simulation. For VW. Summon V and W. Go ahead into VW Tiger Catapult. Then we use XYZ and VW to make XYZ VW Dragon Catapult Cannon. Then we use the two of them to make IP Mascarena. And then, finally, we banish them from the graveyard to summon Armed Dragon Catapult Cannon. Dun 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 dun. Why doesn't this have a summoning animation? Do you have any idea how much I spent to summon this and you didn't even program an animation, Konami? Come on! So let's just put Always Chain on. And then as soon as our opponent's turn starts, what we're going to do is activate this. We're going to banish Lightning Storm from our deck. And this will banish all cards our opponent controls and in the graveyard. And for the rest of the duel, our opponent cannot activate cards that have the same name as a card that is banished. Which means they cannot Lightning Storm us. Marinsa Seahorse. So this... This doesn't read you win the duel, but it might as well read you win the duel. Let's go over that. Let's go over that. And we don't quite have game. That's the unfortunate thing about this card, is that um, it doesn't actually read win the battle, but it probably should. Let's just be like, nah, dog. I don't care what that is. Get it out of here. And sure, we'll activate Bee Buster Drake, because why not? Remember the day that they tried to outmatch Ojamas. Ain't that neat? That's some shit, I tell you what. So strong. There we go. Three duels, undefeated. Rank up into gold four. How long will we keep this up? I don't know, but I think that's a hundred gems! I forgot you get gems for ranking up! Alright, so it took 17,000 gems and a lot of time and capitalism crumbled somewhere in that point. But uh, we finally got most of what we wanted to play. We're not playing the, the armed dragon level 10. Um, even though it would be fun to summon it, I don't have any more ultra rare points for it. Um, we're not playing, like, the Ojama King. I think there was something else we had to take out of here, but we at least got the three Dark Ruler no more, the three Rescue Cat. As you've already seen from the first couple of duels, the main thing you want to do with this deck is summon Ojama Blue and crash it into a bunch of stuff. That's why it's so important to get Dark Ruler no more. That way, even if your opponent combos off 
what you can do is just Dark Ruler no more, the entire board, crash into their weakest monster, and then hopefully build, like, you know, ABC Dragon Buster is discard to banish. VW XYZ can just banish once per turn. This is discard to destroy a card. So between these three, like, as you go up, you should be able to clear whatever on their board can stop you um, while they're all negated by Dark Ruler No More. And then if you can end on Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon, then as soon as their turn starts, you banish everything else and essentially just lock down the duel. So that's the win strategy. That's why this and this are so important to play in this deck. And also why Rescue Cat is so important. You haven't seen it yet, but Rescue Cat summons two level three or lower beast monsters from the deck. Their effects are negated, but that's only like on the field. So you can normal summon Rescue Cat and summon two Ojama Blue from the deck in attack mode and then just crash them in. So that is basically the, the tech, you, you've got this, you've got this, you've got a bunch of stuff to stop you. And then everything else in here is just combo pieces. You need to play two of each Ojama so you can resolve the, the Oja magic. You need, you maybe don't need three of these, but opening with one means it's one less thing you have to search when you're going through all your combos. Um, Oja match, you have to play at three because you was you resolve three. Ojama Civilization, we have to play at three because we need to resolve three a lot of times, or at least two of them. Uh, you need to play three of these because you have to search it in order to activate Oja match. Um, and you need to play all the XYZ ABC pieces. So this really is a deck of like 13 Garnets, 14 Garnets and then like six starters and a whole bunch of stuff to protect those starters. Um, so far it's working because gold does not have a lot of hand traps. People don't know how to play against Ojamas. They don't know what I'm doing. Uh, as we go up, that may be more difficult and we may have to cut some of the bigger high roll stuff and just focus on ABC and link climbing. But that's Ojamas. That's how Ojamas play. I hope you're prepared for the rest of the episode. <laughs> Let's activate this. We'll discard blue. Right? Yeah. All in the battle phase. See, this is what I thought the duels would be more like. You know, we start doing stuff and then our opponent realizes we've just added uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine cards from our deck to our hand, and that our combo is just beginning and they surrender. That's, that's what I expected would happen. So there you go. There's the average Ojama duel. I'm surprised it took this long to get to it. So it's one of those few puns that works across all languages. You fool! You absolute buffoon! You've only made me more powerful! I discard Oja magic! No! My hand! It's fine. I don't need my Ojamas. How many in Graveyard? 21. 21 in Graveyard, 15 banished, 3 left in deck. Can we make him deck himself out? I mean, we can't make him do anything. He's doing it all on his own. easiest win of my life <laughs> see chat sometimes it's just about persistence you just gotta wait and up you know it, it's as i say sometimes you win because you win and sometimes you win because your opponent loses and that is no better example than what we just saw <laughs> yeah we basically have to top deck um Dark Ruler no more. Well, you know, sometimes you ask and God delivers. Get Dark Ruler no more. Normal summon Rescue Cat. The question is, can we clear their entire board with towers here? 
And this is where we strike fear into our opponent. Behold. The instrument of your doom. <laughs> They're like, uh, excuse me? Uh, what? Okay. If we can actually pull off all of this, things are going to be a little crazy. We're going to use the last Oja match to discard one of our duplicates. We literally have every copy of every Ojama in our hand. Your hand must be big to carry all these bricks. Normal summon a monster? Why yes, I think I will. Activate. Normal summon another monster? Yep. Normal summon another monster? Yep. Yep, monsters! Okay, so first things first, get rid of that thing so we can't get any more on the field. Um, oh fuck, what does this need? Effect monsters? Okay, so we can't do that yet. Um, got everything good in our hand. I think we just want to go for the Appaloosa. It's fine, we've got that. Then we can make Link Spider with this. Then we can Ojama Simulation. We can go for the ABC. Then we can use all four of them for Goddess of Sweet Revenge. Get all of those out of here. So then we want to make... A, B, C. So we can make the three of these. We can put them together into X, Y, Z. XYZ can discard to destroy, so we'll activate that effect. We'll discard the Ojama Black to blow up this. We'll activate this again. VW. <laughs> Uh, VWXYZ. Once per turn, this can just banish a card. So we'll activate this. We'll banish that. Oh, that's not a fog blade. It's a rank up magic. Satellite cannon, which just destroys all the back row, right? Let's make A, B, C. And we just banish the Rusty, right? Because at best, they can only crash into one of these. It's A, B, Z, and X, Y, Z, but I had to make V, W, X, Y, Z. I had to make it in order to clear their board. And I didn't have a way to get V, W on the field because I needed to make these two. And I had to use all my Oja matches. Yeah, I didn't get the Arm Dragon level 7 on the board because I needed to make these two. I couldn't make... Usually you make Saryuya and then you special summon this from hand. And then you could discard, discard, get to level 7, do stuff. End of the main phase. Yeah, let's wait until they go into the battle phase. And then we'll activate this. Let's just banish blue to get rid of this. Oh. Oh, I can't. It's fine, chat. I'm fine. We'll just activate this. So they can attack this. And then Ojama Pajama says, 
If a light machine fusion would be destroyed, I can banish an Ojama from the grave instead. Oh, it can use it during damage calc multiple times. Fuck. They can lower my attack! Oh no! I got so far and I tried so hard! And it's only once per chain! Why is this not even once per chain? Oh! Ho, ho, ho. And I couldn't even target because of what it was made of. Use the effect of Ojama Pajama, sure. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, that sucks! We got so far! 3.28 AM. After a promising start, we've almost deranked back down into gold five. We've, we've won seven and lost seven. An auspicious start. I'll probably give this one more try. See if I can, um, at least summon the A to Z Dragon Buster. Maybe, maybe, uh, next time I duel, they'll be a little bit more open. But if not, then we have to go into the, the, the good version of the deck. Because there's no way we're gonna make it into plat, much less diamond, with something like this. The next day. Here we are, day three. This is the, the second stream. I played a little off stream. I got, I got a couple more wins. I learned the deck a little bit better. And I got back up into gold three. Despite what I said earlier, I think I'm going to give this version of the deck one more shot. We're going to see if we can we can continue through gold with this. Uh, last time we had a couple misplays that lost us some games where we probably should have won. But I spent so much time learning the combo to make the big boss monsters that I didn't actually understand exactly what they did or how they worked. I think I know that a little bit better now. So we're going to give this one more try, see if we can at least get into Platinum with the Oja Madness. And if not, then we'll start stripping some things out, seeing if we can make this a little bit more consistent. Uh, I do. So I have a way to deal with it, but it involves exactly summoning... Um, a Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon. Which I am uncertain I can get to. It's Normal Summon Rescue Cat. Let's see if they mask change here. Good. We knew they had it, right? There's the Dark Law. Now we activate the Dark Ruler no more. Now the only problem, it... <laughs> we did it. Nope. Now the only problem is Ash. If they have Ash or Called By, then we're just dead. Let the damaging begin! Super Polly. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Have the attack and defense of all monsters your opponent currently controls. Oh no, they're going to destroy my Arm Dragon? The only reason I wanted this on the field was so I could do Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon shenanigans. Shenana Bananigans. Uh, while we're here, let's just go ahead and spin something back. Get Nightmare Unicorn. We'll use the B. We'll use Nightmare Unicorn. We'll discard the Rescue Cat and send back this fucker. Um, and we're going to get the, the W Wing Catapult because that's the one we're not going to summon. So we'll just have an extra discard fodder in our hand. And we're going to activate Ojama Simulation. 
This can discard a card to pop a card on the field, chat. So we're gonna discard our Ojama Blue. Pop that. Not once per turn, so we're gonna discard our V or Wing Catapult. Pop that. Banish the three of these. Summon ABC Dragon Buster. Yeah, the discarding is not once per turn on XYZ. And the discarding is also not once per turn on A to Z Dragon Buster, which banishes these two and can negate a monster, spell, or trap by discarding a card. And you're like, oh, you only have one card to discard. The Ojama cards help you recycle. You can shuffle back three and draw a card. I'm going to have, I would have three negates. I want to set this because this can't negate stuff in the graveyard. And this can. So we're going to set one of our called buys. We have two negates. And then if this gets in trouble, we can banish this out and summon back ABC and XYZ. E emergency call? Nah. <laughs> and there you go. We got the A to Z dragon cannon and we beat heroes. You know, Jaden thought he was some hot shit, but the Chaz knows how to get it done. Ha-cha-cha-cha-cha. <laughs> All right, so even though we've got the one cool duel in, uh, what you didn't see was a whole bunch of losses. We've been going just kind of back and forth over and over again. Um, but the people in chat have given me a couple ideas, so I'm going to do one more version of this, a Mark II. They basically pointed out that I need another way to get to uh, Ojama Blue. Right now I'm playing the three of that, the three Oja Match, and the three Rescue Cat. But you can also play Summoner Monk, which can summon Rescue Cat, which can then activate its effect and summon two Ojama Blue. We need more spells for that to work though, so we're playing three Fusion Tag, which uh, I think I had in originally and then took out because I realized you can't use it to make A to Z or Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon. But you can use it to make a VW Tiger Catapult and go into VW XYZ, which allows us to take out the V and the W and make this slightly more consistent in that way. So we got another spell for this. We've got this. Our deck is actually bigger. I've taken out two Ojama Pajama. Let's try this 48 card version and see how it works. If not, then we take out all the big high rolly stuff and try to make a more simplified, streamlined version. Well, you know, if you want to know why we lost, it's hands like this, where no matter what, you're going to run into these because you have to play Arm Dragon Thunder, you have to play Ojama Yellow, you have to play X and Z, and sometimes your opponent just normal summons Alistair and, uh... Uh, the question is, I could make Arm Dragon level 7. I don't know if that helps me in any way. I don't think it does. Oh, wait. What is Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon again? No, I need to make VWXYZ. Okay. I could make IP Mascarena, tag that out, and then... Yeah, I think that's probably the best way to do this. Get rid of the Nightmare Unicorn, because it's not really doing anything. I'm not two non-Link monsters. I forgot you couldn't make IP with Links. He's T-posing to assert dominance. They just had another one. Its effect is negated because of the called by. Um. So yeah, we just banish it now, right? And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes you don't have to make the big, huge thing to win. Sometimes ABC is all it takes. All right, it's been another hour and a half of grinding games, and uh, yeah, we're still just we're still in gold three. We're still just ping ponging back and forth. So I'm giving this one more chance. I keep saying this, but chat keeps keeps convincing me to go back. 
So at this point, we've taken out the Armed Dragon Catapult Cannon because it's one of the hardest to summon. We go into the least. A to Z Dragon Buster still has some viability because it's a uh, essentially Herald. It's the Herald of Perfection, just with 4,000 attack. Um, so we're still playing the, the X-Head Cannon, the Y, but we've completely taken out the VW. We've taken out the higher level Armed Dragons. I'm keeping the five just because I can discard two threes to draw a card and then get a bigger monster on board, potentially push for game. And we, we've changed the ratios up a little bit. So now we're running a 40 card deck, slightly more consistent. We have more tools back in the extra deck with Ronin Raccoon and Zeus. Let's try this version. And then this this will be the last Oja of Madness. After this, we're going to focus on just the ABC because that's the best one. And then just link spamming and having a whole bunch of protection. Okay. Oja match is pretty darn good. So, we normal summon red. No Colossus. So we could do all our stuff. Yep, they had the gamma. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna Oja match. We'll send the red to the graveyard anyway. And they had the ass! Son of a bitch! But that's everything, right? Which means now we can Ojama Simulation. ABC Dragon Buster. Oh, I can make... Oh, because they've got a Link 2! You silly bitch. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, let's do that. We'll go for all those. Well, hello there! And then, main. if I just pass, then these both get banished and they can't use them again. So we'll just discard the Z-Metal tank, banish that, draw a card. And we did it! Against Thunder Dragons, no less! I mean, they didn't make the best board, but we played through two disruptions! And we did it to rank up into Gold 2, baby! Oh, I never thought I'd be that excited to see fucking Gold 2, but... But boy howdy, did we do it. We we finally got it. Let's let's change our little thing there. 18 wins, nah, 19 wins. Wow, this is going at such a slow pace. We're gonna be lucky to see if we can get up into uh to plat, much less diamond. Certainly try though. The next day. Stream number three. This is the third dueling session, although if you see. I've actually been playing offline a little bit. We've got up to six days. Um, I've, I've advanced a little bit. We're in gold one, and we are three duels away from plat. If we could win three duels without losing any, then we, we get our way into plat. Um, I am not sure if we'll be able to do it, but we're gonna try, and this will be the last hurrah with this deck before we go into the, the one I think will be more competent. The one that plays a whole bunch of hand traps and stuff, and not nearly as much um, crazy shit in the the extra deck, because it has it has more things like the psi frame gear gammas and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, since I since I recorded last, we're also we got some new cards. We got a new ban list. DPE is legal, so that may throw a wrench into our plans. There's only one way to find out. Let's jump on into it. I am unsure of why they did the thing that they did. Oh, do it has zero defense. Do I just attack over with this thing? Are they trying to trick me into going into attack mode? Is that is that what this is? Um, I guess we just do this. All right. We'll set that, and I guess we'll set. No, we don't want to. We don't want to play into there. Well, they'd have some. They have a monster on board. They can't lightning storm, so we'll just set another one. 
I'm only gonna get one chance at this. Let's go! And the last card is Ash. I think, ironically, I could still beat this. So let's go ahead and Lightning Storm. Get rid of the IP. Or force them to use it now. Okay, so this destroys... I thought that guy couldn't be destroyed. Oh, they can't target them. Okay. Gotcha. So we're going to use that. We're going to summon Ojama Black and Ojama Green. And we're going to make Ronin Raccoon. Rocky Raccoon. Stayed in his room. Doing these things that you want to. We're going to activate the effect anyway. Yeah, you know what? Let's save the Ojama simulation. Go to battle phase. Attack into this. Take 500. Main phase 2. And along came Zeus. What's up, fucker? And let's just go ahead and clear the whole field, shall we? Get out of here. I don't want to have to deal with it. I don't want to do it. It's gone. And then... We activate Ojama Simulation. And because Zeus isn't anything but a 3,000 body at this point, I think what we're going to do is, um... Just use him to make a format Appalooza. I think that would probably be the stronger play to make at the moment. Because it'll have more attack than Zeus and also negates. We'll use B Buster Drake to search out a card so we have another discard. And then we'll banish the A, B, and C from our graveyard to get A, B, C Buster Dragon. So you've got nothing, and I've got four negates and a banish. So I think I win. I think we did a good job there, chat. We didn't even have to do the whole big combo. This is this is what the uh, the other version of the deck does, by the way. The one that uh, doesn't have the A to Z Dragon Buster or whatever. Sword Souls with... Sword Souls not like... They're only like Yang Zings in that they're a synchro deck that are worms, but... Yang Zings synchroed on the opponent turn. Yang Zings had effects where if you use them as synchro materials, the synchros gain effects. What is it, my birthday? It must be my birthday, chat. I'm just a happy little birthday boy. Normal summon Ojama Blue. Now, if they have Ash, then I'm going to be sad. Yeah, let's banish the Defloor. I'm hit! Okay, we did it! We beat Sword Soul! I mean, we, we had to draw Dark Ruler No More and Lightning Storm to do it. But we did it, and that's that's the important thing. Although now we, we still have to win two more before we can rank up into platinum. So um it's it's still it's still a long road ahead. El Chase returns, another gifted sub. The hype train is close. I don't know what the hype train is exactly, but we're close to doing it. If you've ever wanted to gift a sub or donate some bits or whatever. Now's the time to do it. We'll do we'll do some kind of hype train. I I can be hype. Look. Look, I'm hyping all over the place. Is this what you want, Twitch? Is this what Bezos desires from me? I can be a good Amazon employee. Woo! Entertainment! <laughs> oh hey! It's Sword Soul again, but we open with Dark Ruler No More and Lightning Storm. Ain't that just a kick in the head? To them, ha ha ha! I mean, we have nothing against the hand traps, so if they have hand traps, we might be screwed. But otherwise, we've got it. We've got it and we, we, wait, did we just get the hype train? Yes, L Seeker, 100 bits. Hey, look, it's called by. 
I wish it was called by. If we had called by, then we'd be then we'd be completely insulated. A hype train gives emotes to people who gift, sub, and or donate 100 bits during a specific time frame. Well, there you go! We got the hype train to level 1. King Miner with 510 bits! That's like $5! Thank you very much, good sir! At this rate, we I might have to put on the hype hat. Chat, have you seen the hype hat? You're aware of the old top hat. Or, I'm sorry, not the hype hat. The Hype Helmet. We're 70% of the way to the Hype Helmet. 101. Train more hype than a Bubble Man top deck. Just two bits lying around. How goes today? Oh, uh, we're, we're perfectly balanced as all things should be, as you can tell. Public Enemy, just give us five gifted subs. Thank you, Public. I appreciate it. You know what? Since we've done so good, we're taking off the hat. We're putting on the Hype Helmet. So begins our charge into the war against hype. Or the war for hype? I am, it's unclear what side of the battle we're on, but hype ho! Dab and dab and dab dab dab. Hey, this, this, uh, this end board looks awfully familiar, chat. Inner hype giving me five more subs. We are prepared into battle. Let us take the Ojamas to the sword soul where they live. Consequent over their dojo and show them the true meaning of fear. Hit them with the dark ruler no more. Hit their back row with the lightning storm. You're helpless. You see, a true master paralyzes their victim before leaving the final blow. Or something like that. This it's like a quote from a movie, and I don't don't quite recall it. Um, either way, now the instrument of your destruction. Ojama Blue! L Chase returns with another five subs! I already have the hype helmet. I don't know how I can get more hype, chat. We've made it. We've done it. Either way, we're gonna do the exact same thing we did last duel, but this time we're gonna do it while, while wearing a pickle helm, or whatever this is called. Assuming they don't ash this. If they ash this, we're just dead. Okay, they have not ashed this. Come on, just, I'm trying to do a thing here. You're not making it easy on me. No, they had an ash the whole time. The fiends, the complete and utter fiends. Fiendishly fiending their fiends to fiend my fiend. Oh, grandma. But we still have Ojama assimilation. And what we can do is use the three of these and make a Nightmare Unicorn. This will allow us to spin one of their monsters back into the deck by discarding a card. Let's get this Armed Dragon level 5 out of our hand. We're going to use the Bee Buster Drake here because that'll search us another Union monster. And since we're not going through the full combo to make XYZ, we're going to... Um, we're going to need as many cards in our hand as possible. Then we'll make ABC, then we'll banish their other monster, and we'll have a banish with protection next time. And maybe that'll be enough to just see us through the, 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 the darkness and into the light. So just in case we get to Ojama Red, we're going to discard the Z-Metal tank because we can summon it from the graveyard. Thank you again, Public Enemy, for another five subs! So many subs! It's Discount Sub Warehouse here! Tonight on the Hard Leg Ladder Climb Stream Show! Hard Leg, two helmets. Oh, okay. There we go! Now I'm a classy war general! He diddle fee diddle hi diddle ho! What do you say when your name is Joe? My hand is full of Ojamas! Come! Face me! Give in to your pride! <laughs> Alright, so they're making the DP. What, did we get to the level 3 hype train? Oh, that means we need another hat on here. There we go. So it begins the great tower hats, hat tower of our lifetime. Yeah, okay, you can destroy that. I don't really care all that much. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and banish that, shall we? I mean... I want to banish DP. I don't have to deal with that at all. Get out of here. Wait, 
did they still get to destroy a card? No, they don't get to destroy a card. They're no longer on the field, and we did it! The Tower of Hats beats Sword Soul once more! We claim another victory thanks to the power of the hype train! And we're now one win away from Platinum 5, and as much as I would like to go into Platinum 5 wearing this Tower of Hats, this helmet is very uncomfortable. Just, just absolutely sweaty and it hurts my head and it's hard to see out of it. But, uh, you got to see it and the Tower of Hats, and I appreciate all the subs and everything. I get to see Baldhead. Baldhead is where the true power of the hard leg lies. Let me just get this back. The hat stack was magical. Okay, well, we still need to keep a hat stack going. So, let's show our, you know, I've got the capitalist hat. Let's show our appreciation for the proletariat. And then we'll put a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! just right on top there to tie it all together. There we go. Now, what are the chances that we open with Dark Ruler no more and uh, another thing again? Oh, I need to lower. There we go. Now it fits. <laughs> We've got one more chance to make this work. Will we make it work? One shot, one opportunity. Mom, spaghetti, let's go. Oh, God. And I've ruined the, the hat stack. Lightning storm, lightning storm, lightning storm, lightning storm. Lightning storm! Uh, I think that might help just as much. What does this do again? Let me read the text of the Math Mech Super. So, let's, we gotta try it. Normal summon rescue cat. They could also just have Ash Blossom. And I need to get rid of the one that can negate. So, I think they either can't special summon, or if they can special summon, they don't get a negate from it. That's my hope. Tower of Hats, guide my arrow true. Protect my monsters from what he wants to do. I think we may have it, chat. If they don't have hand traps, we may just have what it takes to be a rock and roll band. Oh no, oh no, my hats. I need that Tower of Hats. They gave me the luck I needed. Pile them back. Pile them high. Believe in the hats. No! The hats fell and so did the Ash Blossom! <laughs> oh, well, it was a nice, nice attempt, chat. But sometimes life just doesn't work out the way you hope it does. A to Z Dragon Buster. All right, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards in their hand. About a fourth of their deck. What can they do? Yeah, let's activate that and hope that they don't have, uh, they don't know that this is once per turn. Or this isn't once per turn. You thought Ava was bad, being able to add two fairies? Nah. A to Z adding three Ojamas. Literally just Herald of Ultimateness, but bigger. But bigger and stronger. Tenacity of the Monarchs? No. No, I don't think you can. Ojama Green says no. I have fired him out of a cannon into your spell card. This can't actually negate stuff in the graveyard. Don't chain this to graveyard effects. Otherwise, the effect you're chaining is the one that gets you back A, B, C, and X, Y, Z. The Monarch Storm 4th. Yeah, this isn't once per chain. Well, you thought I was once per chain? Get out of here. I can negate you twice per chain. Go ahead, add some more chains in there if you want. All right, so they're down to a uh, six card hand. I've whittled them down from everything they drew <laughs> off of Max C. This is what Ojamas do when they... If you go second and you don't get hand trapped and you, you have the openers and your opponent has a monster you can attack into, there you go. Uh, I'll negate that with Appaloosa. A 
tribute for Majesty's Fiend. Now I can't activate monster effects! I can tag out in the battle phase, but I don't think I want to. I think I want to keep my thing that gives me an infin infinite negates. Okay, let's cat. Activate cat. Summon two more Ojama Blues. What's worse than a 4,000 uh, with three negates? A 4,000 with three negates and his token friend! 4,000! <laughs> Next turn, you're gonna get hit with a lot of damage! If they have like a Raigeki, then I might be in for a spot of bother. Or another, um, Monarch Storm. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna give you this one! Go ahead! Use it to search Stormforth! No, no, I don't think you will, good sir. The thing is, they only get one tribute summon per turn. Uh, no. Yeah, they can't Majesties and Stormforth is the problem. They need to get Majesties out, and then Stormforth, and then summon another one, and they don't have the ability to do all of it. And there we go, chat. A long, drawn-out battle, but we got him. The Dark Ruler is no more. Oh, what do you have? Battle Fader? Oh, they're chump I should have summoned another token! So if I go in here, and then tag out, A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Let's do it. XYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon for game! We did it. We did it, chat! We got him! It only took us forever to get back to 50% win rate! Ah! This is difficult, but we can deal with it because Lynx don't have, uh, levels. I think we're good! I'm feeling confident! We just gotta hope this back row isn't anything. We've got the Lightning Storm. Granted, they could have a solemn judgment. You want to prepare for that. Hit them with the lightning storm. All the spell traps. Get them all out of here. I don't want to have to deal with them. Battersby UK, you can go back to the UK. Macrocosmos. And infestation pandemic. Gotcha. They just, uh, they just wanted to show me everything they had. They're so proud of it. And they had MST and double or nothing. Let's summon our rescue cat. But we're gonna summon the armed dragon. I don't want to take another 2550 because we don't need to. We're gonna summon the armed dragon. We're gonna activate the Oja magic. We're gonna get a whole bunch of stuff. And then we're going to Oja match for the final time. And then we'll normal summon the Ojama red. Okay, main phase two. So we can't summon any of our fusions while this is here because it need it blocks all level fives or higher. That is why what we're going to do is use these two and make IP Mascarena, and then we're gonna get one, two, three, four, and their monster will be the fifth monster because Underworld Goddess lets you use one of your opponent's monsters as Link material, as long as you have the other four. Bada bingo, bada bango. Um, and then we go ahead and start doing the big stuff, baby! All right, we got all three of those. A, B, C, X, Y, Z! But they're not gonna let us make it, but it doesn't matter! Because ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, non-binary pals of all ages, we have made it into Plat, paying the jankiest Ojama deck you could possibly imagine. Well, not the most possible, but it's still a pretty damn janky one. We got there playing the A to Z version, the one that had all sorts of crazy shit in it, the one that was still playing the armed dragons, the one that still had X, Y, Z. So, yeah, I consider that at least a partial victory. 
This is, of course, not the end of the episode or the end of my run with Ojamas, but it is probably the end of Ojama Madness version of the deck. I have another one that we're going to be looking at next time. Um, for those of you watching on the stream, it'll be it'll be next uh, to Thursday, because I stream every Tuesday and Thursday. For those of you watching this on YouTube, it'll be right about now. All right, here we are, dawn of the fourth session, day seven overall, and we are finally switching to as close to a competitive Ojama deck as, as I can get. We, we've taken out the high roll stuff. We've actually kind of reduced the ceiling a little bit. There's no longer going to be the A to Z dragon that has like nigh infinite negates. But in its place, we're instead playing Psyframe Gear Gamma that should help insulate our plays some more. We're playing less Ojama Simulation, and we've got Infinite Impermanence to help deal both going first, we can stop things like Sword Soul from going off, and then if we draw it going second, we have more stuff that we can negate with. So hopefully this version, while focusing mostly on just ABC and Lynx, um, should still, like, it... Basically, we're trading the high ceiling for more consistency. This should hopefully resolve a lot more, a lot easier, and we could just get in for like OTKs or set up a board of like four Appaloosa Negates plus a Banish and just be fine. Uh, at least that's what I'm hoping. I don't know, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I think A to Z might have actually been stronger, but uh, there's only one way to find out, and that's by playing some duels. Oh, okay. In that case, I'll just attack you for 300. What do you think, Rescue Cat was gonna do something? I'm not doing anything. Uh, yeah, I'll do this. Yeah, the alternative was to let him get three cards and make Zeus. You've already used two Ecclesia and one of each of these. What are the chances they'll top deck into more? They don't have playmakers. Normal summon this. Let's make Nightmare Phoenix. Yeah, we'll pop the back row. We'll discard that. I know it's blackout. We want to get rid of it while we can. Uh, what does this one do? If this card, you can add one other union from your graveyard. I don't want to do that. But this one lets me add a union from your deck to your hand. So I'll activate that. And then I'll get C. Using the Ash. The top deck war commences. To be fair, he's got much better top decks than I do. Huh. That's fine. They don't know I have Ojamas yet. I've yet to play an Ojama card. So I can set this, and then maybe they'll run over it by battle. And then if I get another monster, I can make, um, I can make Excess Code and just win the game. That'll be neat. <laughs> Come on, any monster! We've got game if we can draw any monster, yes! Let's go into Nightmare Cerberus. Let's give them the surprise of a lifetime. <laughs> Guess what? You just lost to fucking Ojamas. Under four summons. We'll just use Accessco. <laughs> there you go, Sword Soul. Sword Soul don't know shit, you know? Everyone says they're good, but they can't even beat uh, Ojamas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, after a series of unfortunate losses, uh, I have decided that what this Ojama deck needs is less Ojamas and more hand traps. We're, <laughs> we're trying to reduce the Ojama engine to its smallest, most base components. We've got one each of the three. We've got one Oja Magic. If we draw any of these, they're hard garnets now, but that's just kind of the life we've got to live at the moment. Um, we've still got the Oja match, we've still got three of these, still three Ojama Blue, and then I put in one Ojama Duo and one Ojama Pajama. We can search these with the Oja matches a little bit easier, um, and actually use them to grind the games out if, if need be. 
So, so let's try that. Lightning storm. With real lightning! How many people did I lose on that? Judgment! Well, that gets rid of a lot of my, uh, efforts. God says to thee nay. Let's see if they flip down in the damage step. Well, that is one hell of a way to use the Storming Mirror Force. Uh, alright. I'll try again next turn. Now this thing, if I remove it by a battle or card effect, it floats into two crawlers. And we don't want that. So, so we're just going to, um... Oh, wait, these are all... Okay. I have to do it this way. Okay. Hey, thank you for the hundred bits, say Shady Shroomy. We're gonna make... Link Spider. And then we're going to make... Underworld Goddess. Two, yes. Three, four... Hello there! You do not get your effects. Also, every card on the field is negated now. Oh, they're afraid of getting negate. They're afraid of having their face-up monster negated. So they're gonna put it face down. Now the thing is, if this is face up and you remove it, you get to search another one. But if it's face down and you remove it, they just don't get anything. Let's go ahead and make a unicorn. Hello there! Uh, we're not going to add back something, but we're just going to send the Psy Frame Driver, shuffle that back into the deck, and then we're going to make ABC. So your board is cleared. I'm going to have an extra card, which I always liked. I can make a rank 2 next turn, and I have protection. It's not as good as the ABC, uh, or the A to Z dragon, but you know, it still works. So guess gets the job done, hopefully. I mean, I could could be proven wrong if they manage to come back from this. I will grant them their wish. A quick and honorable death, the likes of which they have never seen. Go, my ABC dragon. Attack them in the face. End their wretched existence. Acha. Does it levitate? It doesn't stand up? No, it's just, just there. Yes! Best top deck! Thank you, based god! Activate lightning storm! No spell traps for you! Get them all out of here! Eagle booster? Does eagle booster make it so I can't use them for underworld? I think I can still use them for underworld goddess, right? Okay, good, and it was the widow anchor too. Oja match. Let's just... I'm trying to think what would be better if I just access code and pop the thing. Or if I did this and then they couldn't... Yeah, I need to put it back into the deck. Oh, it's eagle boosted. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, chat. We're not completely out of the woods, but we're fine. I've got two and a half disruptions. Um, yeah, might as well. They can Widow Anchor the Underworld Goddess, but it doesn't do anything for them. They can Widow Anchor this, but I can tag out. The worst case scenario is like, they Widow Anchor this, and then they Normal Summon Ray. You can shuffle all your opponent's monsters in the extra monster zone back into the deck. Alright. You're aware that that does not target, right? They... How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Widow Anchor this. Okay, I have to tag out. Go into the Nightmare Phoenix. Let's activate this. I don't think that's going to be very useful. It's another Eagle Booster. Damn, I don't think there's any way we can... I could still punch really hard, but it's not enough. And then they've got the thing so they can just... 
get a Widow Anchor and do it again next turn. I think the better thing might be to IP Mask Arena and then when they try to Widow Anchor, I can go into Access Code that way. Okay, let's try this. We're actually going to make this with this. Yeah. Shuffle that back. We'll use that, and then we'll negate it. Target one monster on the field, destroy it. This was made with IP, so it can't be destroyed, and this can't be... Troll no monsters, target one, add it to your hand. I am losing to the worst Sky Striker player! That's where we're at, we're just negating attacks. Alright, I think I've got this. This is... it's effect monsters. Oh, why did I keep OJ? Oh wait, no, no. No, I can turn this into a Link Spider. As long as this isn't another Eagle Booster. Because we know what's in the hand, and it's not... I can turn these two into this. Although I'm only getting a 1600 attack token, but it's something. It's high, it's more attack than Ray. So we get our token, and then we make... Access code with these two. Access code targets this. Pop your Shizuku. Everyone gets their attack back. They're not summoning back, chat! I think we did it! <laughs> we moved up one whole rank with Ojamas! Oh, I still owe. Oh, this still can't attack because of Kaino. Pot of Avarice! <laughs> Effect <laughs> What? What are you playing? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh, thank the Lord we did not lose that one. They had so... we should have lost. They had so many, but they are playing the weirdest Sky Striker build I have ever seen. We get up to Platinum Tier 4. Plat 4 with Ojamas. Alright, we've made an ever so slight change to the deck. Not enough to make it a whole different version, but it's... It's version 2.5. Basically, we've just added Digustral Emerald to the extra deck. Someone pointed out that if I have an ABC and it uses its effect, the, specifically the one where it tributes itself, and then you get three of your banished light machine monsters, they come back. You can use them, assuming they survive, if two of them survive, you can use them to make Digusto Emerald, and this shuffles back three monsters in the graveyard, draws you a card. So you can shuffle back three monsters, including the ABC, also recycle some of my Ojamas, and then summon back out the ABC again. So, um, not sure if it'll be super useful, but... I figure having one of these is worth the UR points, because I might use it eventually anyway. And, uh, it couldn't hurt. Uh, still not sure if I want to add Kaijus to this or not. Not sure how far I'm gonna try to do this. This is... this has really been a slog. But I'll go at least, at least a little bit farther. Uh, unfortunate. Apo's gone, but not forgotten. Alright. I think we can clean this up. The level 5. And banish that. Okay, and then I think what we can do... Normal summon the cat. That's one. Yeah, we got this. 1,000. Plus 3,000. Plus 3,000. Oh no, I miscounted. They have a thousand left. They're gonna survive. Oja match. Send Ojama Blue from the uh, hand to graveyard. Add back Ojama Red. 
and one of the armed dragons. And then I can normal summon one of those monsters, chat. So let's go ahead and normal summon the armed dragon level three, which goes in for exactly 1200, which I guess isn't exactly their life points, but it's enough to win the game. Take that, Madolce. Uh, I can't be angry about Madolce, but we played through double max C. That's, that's pretty neat. And how often is Arm Dragon level 3 going to get a good game in there? Alright, so we've made a couple small changes to the deck, enough to make this Ojama Mark 3. Mostly we just took out the Ash Blossoms. Those were mostly there to stop Max C, and honestly we can make our pretty big board with minimal summons, so Max C doesn't really affect us all that much. Plus, it kind of um, works against what we want to do, right? Because we want to go second, we want to attack into monsters, and if we Ash something, then they're not going to leave a monster, or they're often not going to have a monster on board. They'll, like, set and pass. Um, so instead, we've opted for Kaijus. I have three Gamasil, one Kamungus, slightly bigger deck, but it's Ojamas. We're playing enough Garnets that uh, we could play a slightly bigger deck and not really have it affect our ratios all that much. So now instead of trying to prevent them from summoning stuff, we'll let them summon and then just turn a monster into Gamasil so that we can hopefully crash Ojama Blue into it. Um, this is just low enough attack that we could still crash it three times and survive. I've also added a second Ojama Simulation in here because I realized there are times when I really want to have that second one summon back everything again and then just like link off. So we're going to try that and see if it helps us anymore. You thought I was going to use the cat effect. Ha ha ha! My friend, the cat is here for its massive 300 attack value, who will go in for game and annihilate all the Dark Lords. They cannot stand up to the power of cute kitty. All right, ever so slight change to the deck. We've, we've just updated the extra deck a tiny bit. Uh, mainly, we put in a downered magician so that we can uh, go from Ronin Raccoon into this, into Zeus, because we sometimes have to do that. And then we'll have two negates, which is better than what we have been doing, which is ending on one negate and 1,000 attack point token. Uh, the <laughs> also, we're putting in um, Rhapsody in Berserk. We had a thing before where we would we would end on like A, B, and C, and sometimes our opponent doesn't have something that we can Nightmare Unicorn. So I was hoping for something else I could use these with that could maybe disrupt the opponent during their turn um, while getting all the pieces in the graveyard. Maybe a Link 3. We couldn't find anything like that, but we did find Rhapsody and Berserk. This can up to twice per turn, detach a material, banish a card in the graveyard. So in the case of this deck, right, where we're going to be summoning, like, Nightmare, and then the Unicorn, and then ABC, um, and especially against something like Sky Strikers, where maybe they'll have some stuff in the graveyard. It's nice that we can go into this, use it to get two things out of their graveyard so that they're even more screwed for next turn, then make ABC and still have this 1200 defense wall. And who knows, if we end up making Ronin Raccoon or something, uh, you can equip it, and it gives it 1,200 attack. So that's kind of neat. So uh, it's not a huge deal, which is why this is 3.5. Let's let's jump back into it. Oh, we're only one away from Platinum 3. I've only said that like nine times. Like Sisyphus, Ojamas are doomed to this hell, forever pushing a boulder up a mountain only to have it roll back down. But you know, maybe one of these days we'll get it to the top of the mountain. Only to find out that we're just on tier 3 of a 5 tiered mountain. But, you know, every every little step we take, every move we make, is slightly better. Oh boy. It's just what I always wanted, chat. More Alistair. Well, if they don't have a spell in hand, this'll do it. Show me that spell. Okay, well, at least we got him to discard a spell. Branded. Um, yeah, that'll bait stuff out. Now we get a lot of things. Hee 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 hee. Ha 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 ha. Ash Blossom. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, the thing about Ash Blossom, right, is that it doesn't destroy the card, so that's just left in my hand. Okay, normal summon. They're letting it go through. Those fools, chat. Those foolish, foolhardy fools. They don't know. Oh wait, we could do the thing that we prepared for last time. So let's use the three of these. I use Nightmare Unicorn to try to shuffle that back. They'll of course trigger it. They'll use, oh wait. We could Cypher Ape Gamma this. Never mind. <laughs> Who needs to who needs to banish stuff out of the graveyard? We'll just Cyframe Gear Gamma it. And then because we've got the four, we could still do the thing we wanted to do. Which is to make this. And what we're going to do is activate this once. Let's banish the DPE just in case they were thinking about getting it back. And just to make sure that they can't draw any cards too, let's go ahead and banish the Celestial while we're at it. Then we'll make a four mat Appalooza. Then we'll make ABC Dragon Buster. Hello there. We'll go ahead and discard the Oja match because there's no way I'm using this again. Draw a card. And there we go, chat. We've outed the DPE and the, um... Whatever it was. They're banished. The Mechaba. DPE Mechaba? No problem. Oh, no! Well, there's not much you could do against the Super Poly. Agonies! Yeah, let's go ahead and Lightning Storm. And then we'll Ojama Duo. Yep, let's summon these two. Howdy, boss! It's me. And then we make Ronin Raccoon. Ronin Raccoon does a thousand. Main phase two. Summon Downard. And along came Zeus with his lightning bolts and thunder. Hop aboard the Oja Megazord. Who needs to activate effects? Why even risk it? Zeus and armed dragon are going to end my opponent's day while Ojama Red watches from the closet. Ha <laughs> ha! And with that, I believe we get up into, into Platinum 3. Rank up, rank up, rank up, let's go! Ojama's at least as good as Christron's, at least in this modern format. You didn't play around Gores, I never do. Not these days. We did it! We got it! Yeah, I can't allow that burn. Oh, they're not gonna negate it. That they could just attack over in, in game. Maybe they still won't. Wait, what is this? Two thousand! I won't go quietly into the night! You go quietly into the night! Wait, that- WHAT?! WHAT ARE YOU DOING?! <laughs> they could've just attacked with Shaman. Also, I thought they were locked into, uh, Synchros for the turn. You know, we don't question these things, chat. We just- we just take them. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Activate? Yeah! So we get to return, we get to special summon one of our banished. They just negated their own DP! We had no business winning that one, chat. I don't know what the hell they thought they were doing. 
I don't know what happened. They had everything. They had us dead to rights. But sometimes you win, and sometimes your opponent loses. All right, here we are, dawn of the final day. I have one more shot to push Ojamas as far up the ladder as they can go. And let me tell you, I think I've just about reached their limit. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly surprised we got to plat 3 as it is, but if you've seen any of the previous episodes of Ladder Climb, you know that plat 3 is like the deciding ground. This is where the rogue decks really start to taper off, and getting anything above this would be very difficult. If I was lucky and persistent, I could maybe get this deck to plat 2, but um... You know, at this point, you've kind of seen the same combos over and over again, right? Like, there's nothing else I can do to improve Ojamas while still maintaining the Ojamaness. So, I'm going to do something that I normally don't do, that I normally wouldn't do. If you're, if you're unfamiliar with me, I really don't like this modern trend of taking archetypal engines that have nothing to do with what you're playing and just jamming them in. I didn't like uh, when people were using Brilliant Fusion to make Seraphonite. I didn't like when everyone was jamming in Nightmare Mermaid to do Orcist combos with any two cards. And I don't like the Verte, make it, whether or not it's making a DPE or, or the other Dragoon. And I don't like the Adventure Engine stuff coming out either. That being said, I am very curious as to just how powerful the DPE engine is. It is everywhere right now. And oftentimes in this deck, I'm link climbing and I have two extra Ojamas that just so happen to be able to be made into a Verte Anaconda. So I went ahead and got the Destiny Hero Destroy Phoenix Enforcer package. I've jammed it in here so we've got four more extra cards. I've removed a couple things from the extra deck to, to make room for it. And we're going to find this out. If you just wanted to know how far Ojamas can get on their own, it's it's plat, t plat 3, maybe plat 2 at the most. If you want to see just how powerful DPE is, how far this one card will push us up, we're going to try to find that out today. And I think that should be a fun little experiment. Let's go ahead and do that trick we did last time. We'll make Rhapsody in Berserk. Go ahead and banish a couple cards from our opponent's graveyard. Now let's take out the Dasher. So they can't get the extra summon. And yeah, let's just take out the DPE so they can't summon it back. Then we're going to use these two to go ahead and make... Summon the uh, ABC. Let's go ahead and banish that back row. Uh, pay 2,000. Send this. Summon DPE. What's up, buddy? I'm your buddy. You're the one. And let's just pop both the anacondas. This is pretty strong for Ojamas. But this is pretty strong for everything. <laughs> Many decks would struggle to out this. Just get rid of both of your back row. It was the third blackout. <laughs> they had all the blackouts. And there we go, chat. That's that's as easy as it is. Sword Soul doesn't stand a chance against Ojamas. Ojamas. <laughs> oh, this does burn damage. I have to hit it, don't I? I'm gonna have to do this. Now I just gotta hope they can't do something else, and they can't. We did it. A B C. As easy as Zeus and stuff. We did it when we ranked up. Gold, wake up. Gotta rank up, baby, you and me now. All right, tiny change to the deck. I've removed the, the Cyframe gear gammas. I keep drawing the driver. I've drawn the driver in my hand like the last three or four turns. It, it Like in theory, it should work, right? Like you activate Rescue Cat, you got no monsters, and then you activate the gamma, but it's never actually happened like that. 
and we already have a bunch of really good go second tools with gamma seal dark ruler no more and lightning storm plus the infinite and permanent so we're gonna take one garnet out of our deck and see if that makes it just a little bit better we're not even doing bad i've just opened the garnet too many times and it's made me salty now we just gotta hope do you think the last card in hand is ash chat if it's ash then i'm just dead but if it's pretty much anything except for Ash, I'm pretty good. Oh, Jama Duo! No! <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Can't Widow Anchor a normal monster. Summon the Ronin Raccoon. Widow Anchor. Oh, no! Anyway. Activate that dang old effect. You're banished. Activate Verte. Go in for attack. 26. 5. We still have a battle phase. Yeah, it doesn't often happen. Uh, do we blow up the Verte just to... yeah. Might as well. Just to be safe. Top deck city. <laughs> yep! Yep, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Oh, not gonna help me attack? Oh, okay. I see how it is. That is the way the cookie crumbles from time to time. If we lose one more, it's over. I've already been here longer than I expected. Granted, some of that time was eating pizza. But we're in the final countdown. We have to win three in a row without losing any. Otherwise, we, it's just over. Using a lot of stuff with punks just to make VFD, eh? My good old friend VFD. Yeah, it's you know, I like I like Ojamas. They can they can do pretty good. They got a lot of stuff. But when you're going up against oh, what if I were to say no? What if I were to stop your true king in the standby phase? I will still be activating effects. I don't have a whole lot of effects. But I could activate them. Yeah, and I think it just stops blue. I think even if I crash blue, it doesn't do its effect. My only hope is that they don't see this as a threat and just allow me to battle in. Four monster negates, a card banish, and a called by the grave. Granted, they've got seven cards to work with. And honestly, I probably can't use more than one of these or else I'm just dead to my own gamma seal. Yeah, I'll tag out at that. Okay. I've been partial. Okay. I'm not quite dead. No, I drew the Ojama! Damn it. Uh, okay, we gotta try this then. I, did, I really needed to draw anything but that. Uh, we'll shuffle back blue. Yeah, this will turn it back on. Let's activate this. And we did it! A hard-fought victory, but we defeated the VFD! Let's go! Boral load. Yep. Yep, unfortunate. The DPE package didn't work very well because in order to do it, we have to get our Ojama plays going. And um, getting those going in the first place through disruption, when you have decks this powerful and you have to go second, just not really possible, unfortunately. And with that, ladies and non-ladies, we bring this episode to a close. In the end, Ojamas were able to make it up to Plat 2, which is honestly much farther than I expected them to get. 
Especially considering how long we stayed on the Oja Madness variant. I didn't intend to play that version for as long as I did, but the A to Z Dragon Turbo build was not only surprisingly powerful and kind of fun to play, but it worked almost as well as the serious deck list that I ended the episode on. I mean, it might take an eternity to do the combo, but the fact that a single Ojama Blue can make an entire board of negates similar to Harold Drytron is kind of astounding. If they ever add more support that makes those light machine fusions easier to summon, Ojamas might actually be a serious threat. As it stands, though, they're simply too inconsistent to make it much farther than this. Even the most optimized versions of the deck have to play six bricks in order to function. And yeah, Ojama Blue is a one-card combo starter, but the fact that you have to repeatedly crash it into attack position monsters to even start that combo means it'll never be anything more than a gimmick. Ojamas really need another starter card if they want to work, or at the very least something that makes all the blue crashing easier to do. Regardless, now that it's the end of the month and the end of the episode, let's take a moment to look over our stats for May of 2022. In the end, I played 115 duels with Ojamas over the course of 11 dueling sessions. We won 62 of those duels and lost 53, which gives us a win rate of about 54%. Our deck went through 8 iterations during that time to end up on this build behind me, which contains 17 common cards, 12 super rares, and a whopping 26 ultra rare cards. To get those, I needed to spend about 20,000 gems, which would cost roughly $320 if you bought them all at the store at the standard price. Now that being said, 3,000 of those gems were just spent on getting the DPE package, which, for the record, was only able to boost Ojamas one tier higher than they were before. Finally, all of this would not have been possible without 400 awesome patrons who helped support the channel. 32 of those patrons donated $25 or more this month, so I'd like to take a moment to thank them personally. Davon Crushin, Fred Thomas, Tiberius Kane Moriarty, what a great name, lol, Cat Monarch, Zero1503, Austin Glover, Chris W, Death's Dancer, Ya Boy Slurp, Montry, Tarquin Cox, Aiden McDonald, Alucard22, Choppy Rice, Chris Kessler, Cozy Boat279, Default Titan97, Dancing Joker, Emperor Lelouch, Matt, Muffin Fiend, Nathan, Nerozard22, Nightfang, Penumbra Eterna, Quintingent, Robert Pock, Tayo no Kitsune, Trevor F., Viscount Billy Esquire, and Wonder Waffle. If you'd like to join them, there's a Patreon link down in the description. Just $1 gets you on my patrons-only Discord, and for $10, you can become the influencer of influencers, who decide what I play next. Speaking of which, next time on Ladder Climb, it looks like I'll be trying my best to beat the meta with... Fossils, the rock-based fusion archetype. If you want to see me attempt this in real time, you can follow me over at twitch.tv slash hardleggaming where I stream most of my duels. Otherwise, until then, good luck and have fun.